Over the past few weeks, when you visit your preferred Cardano DEX, you've probably been noticing a new wallet integration sitting alongside all of the other big names. And lately, we've been hearing a lot of high praise from big names in the community about how the UI and UX is on another level altogether. So today, let's dig in and see what all the fuss is about and take a look at Jero Wallet. It's time for the weekly report. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today it's time for the weekly report, and this week we wanted to take a look at the Jero Wallet. We've been hearing a lot of great things about this project, and it keeps coming up time and time again. If we look at their roadmap, they only just kicked off this year, and they already have a bunch of great features built into it. One of the ones that we recently been hearing a lot of excitement about is that you can buy ADA directly from the wallet, and they have a lot of other exciting things that are just down the line. The other piece too that we've heard is that the UI and the overall user experience is one of the best out there across all of the big wallets that we know of. And this actually makes sense because Sean, one of their co-founders and probably the most public face of the project, has a UX background and so it's actually pretty cool to see one of these wallets not coming just from a code first perspective, but from a, okay, the wallet is meant to be used by users and how do we have it come together nice and clean? So our apologies that our camera is not cooperating today, but we really wanna take a look at the Jero wallet. We haven't downloaded it yet, so let's actually go through the whole process together and take a look and see what all the excitement's about. So we can start off by coming to jerowallet.io and then click on download. It'll take us to the Chrome web store and from here, we'll just go ahead and add it like any other Chrome extension. Cool, once it's been added, we can come in here and pin it so we have access to it whenever we want. And let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. All right, so we're gonna select English as our language. So let's go ahead and create a brand new Jero wallet. First thing we need to do is add a spending password, so let's go ahead and do that. We understand that Jero wallet cannot recover this password for us, so let's go ahead and set up the password. This is a little bit different. Usually we get the recovery phrase, then the password, but that's fine, so let's set it up. Okay, so as always, we're gonna write down these words in order, and it's super important that we understand that if we lose our recovery phrase, there's no way for anyone to get it back for us. So let's go ahead and unlock it and take a look at our recovery phrase. It looks like they use a 15-word recovery phrase similar to your Roy, and never share your recovery phrase with anyone. Right now, obviously, we're letting you see ours, but this is for the sake of this demo. We're going to delete this wallet right after. So make sure you write down this recovery phrase on separate pieces of paper, ideally, so you can store them in separate and secure places. And let's go ahead and continue. Now let's repeat the recovery phrase back to make sure that we got it correctly. So this is nice. Instead of having to type it, we can just click. So that's cool. So go ahead and confirm your recovery phrase in order. We'll do the same and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so once we've confirmed the recovery phrase, let's name our wallet. Let's call this Woodland Pools Jero Wallet. And the default cover is fine. So let's go ahead and continue. All right, sweet. So we've created our Jero Wallet and I love that they have this here. As we always say, store your backup phrase in several different places, write it down on pieces of paper and store them in different places in case anything happens to any of them. Never share it with anyone because if anybody has your recovery phrase, they can restore the wallet and steal all of your funds and never give your recovery phrase to anyone. And as always, nobody can retrieve it for you. So this is on you to be your own bank. So we're gonna hit all done. All right, cool. So we're all set up here and our Jero wallet is now available on the top right. If we click it, it looks like this is similar to the NAMI wallet in that it's just a single address wallet. I don't see anywhere else here that we can see additional addresses. Um, you all let me know if maybe I've missed something here, but it looks like this is gonna be a single address wallet. If we click here, this will open Cardano scan and open a link to our single address, or we can copy the address here, nice and easy. So at this point with our brand new wallet, let's go ahead and fund this wallet. Send some funds over either from your preferred exchange or from a different wallet. We'll do the same and continue from there. And we always recommend if you're new to this process and not super comfortable with wallets yet, do a test transaction first with one or two ADA to make sure it goes through as you expected and then send the rest over. Okay, so it looks like our 10 ADA has come through. So we can go ahead and send. Yes, yeah, so here we go. So one of the things that Jero Wallet supports, which is cool, is you can put in a wallet address and they also support the ADA handle standard. So if we type in an ADA handle like Woodland Pools, this should work. One of the things that would be nice is if it gave us like a little check mark like we've seen in other wallets to confirm that yes, this does resolve to a valid address, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and we'll send, let's say three ADA uh, to our Woodland Pools address and click on send. Okay, sweet, so it did resolve to a real address here. I wonder actually if we hit cancel, I wonder if we put in something made up. Let's see, and hit send. Awesome, so we don't get the little check mark ahead of time, but if it's not a handle that actually resolves to an address, we'll get an error, so that's good. So let's go back and do our Woodland Pools. Perfect, so let's go ahead and confirm this, enter our spending password, all right. All right, so while that goes through, let's go ahead and take a look at their staking section. So we come to stake, Let's start staking. 
Nice, so they have the stake pool search already built in here. So go ahead and select your preferred stake pool and hit continue. All right, then we'll enter our spending password to confirm the delegation. Here's our normal network transaction fee and the two ADA deposit, so we'll go ahead and confirm. Nice, okay, cool. That was really nice and easy. It looks like they built in the uh, search straight from ADA pool, so that's pretty cool. So we hit home. Okay, so we're back here on our main wallet page. Our actual, our ADA balance has actually gone up because while, while we were doing that, we went ahead and tried out the buy section. We recommend you try it out yourself. If you click on buy here, it'll take you to MoonPay where you can buy the ADA directly from your wallet. You'll need to use a debit card to buy it and then it'll deposit it directly into your wallet. So that's a really nice integration that they have there. The one thing that's kind of unclear here though is that when we click on history, I don't see anything in our history here. Whereas when we go to Cardano scan, we can actually see the transactions of here's the three ADA that we sent. This is still being confirmed by the network. And then here is the 35 ADA that we purchased from MoonPay. So all of these things are recognized by the network, but for some reason it's not showing up in the history. So maybe the Jero wallet team can give us a heads up on what might be going on here. But uh, but yeah, a nice clean interface, really nice and straightforward, uh, supports the ADA handle standard. We can stake directly from the wallet. We can buy directly from the wallet. Um, some of these things need to be clearly built out. It's a brand new project. But uh, so far, so good, really enjoying it. Let us know what you guys think about the Jero wallet, things that you like, any issues that you've run into, and if nothing else, we'll see you next week.